pretty light day, pretty choppy day, as you guys have seen so far. Guys, welcome back. Ron here once again. Uh, on this video, I just wanted to cover some quick, quick knowledge here on, on what I look for for to stay out on days like today. So basically, today was a pretty light day, pretty choppy day, as you guys have seen so far. Obviously, look at the markets here, pretty much just trending sideways right at their pivots, trending sideways, trending sideways. The only one that had some sort of movement today was probably the NASDAQ, as you can see here, went lower, only to uh, continue higher, uh, riding this 50 MA, uh, higher for the day. So obviously, stocks like uh, uh, Amazon uh had a little bit more of a violent moves but overall it was still a pretty choppy day uh not the ideal days for trading as you can see here and one of the main things i look for uh right at the beginning of the day uh the first thing i'm looking at is this my volume indicator or my watch list for the markets uh the first thing i look for and i log down i jog it um I'm jogging. I mean i log it every day on a spreadsheet or on a notepad is the volume for the down uh, the Y minis here. Uh, the only reason I log this one is because it's just an easier number to read. Uh, it's, easy, it's usually, you know, uh, just uh, 30,000, 30, 40,000, 50, you know, 60 or 70,000 or something like that. It's just a lot easier than to have to write down, you know, a six digit number or, or like uh, the NASDAQ or, or the E minis, right? So the main thing I'm looking at in the morning is this, you know, how much volume are we seeing pre-market? How many shares have were already traded? And when you start logging these, you're going to start to see a trend. You're going to start to see what the average volume is uh, um, before a day that turns out to be like today, like a choppy day, or, or what the volume is when we have awesome days where we just either have massive rallies or massive sell-offs. You're going to start to realize and see those trends developing um, because you're logging it and you start to see, oh, okay. And then when you compare that and, and, and mix it with the tick and what the tick does and how it opens, you're going to start to develop a, a, you know, a sense for when it's going to be a good day to trade and when it's going to be a good day to just stay out of the market as a whole or maybe change the strategy. Days like today are awesome days to start doing spreads, start collecting some premium. Why? Because it's a choppy market. The market is going sideways. So, Data, data and time decay are working on your favor because you just sold some premium and the longer the market stays going sideways, the, the better it's going to be for your position that you sold uh, out of the money um, because now those those options are losing value uh, because there's no, no volatility. So as the volatility goes down, those uh, options start to lose a lot of volume and that's exactly what you want. So in the morning, I'm looking at this. I usually do log it at around 9.20, even 9 o'clock. It doesn't matter. Just pick a time, even at the open. I Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I like 10 minutes before uh, just because so that I can stay consistent uh, as far as when I'm logging it. So today, it, it pretty much was around 41,000, I believe. Uh, and basically, what I'm noticing is that when the markets are below 45,000, the Dow opens below 45,000, 10 minutes before the open, um, it, it tends to be a, a slower day. Or, or, or it may lead to a choppy day. Again, guys, nothing is set in stone. Things can change at any time. News, uh, a, a plethora of information can come out. Anything can change at any moment. Again, always remain objective. But this is just a good signal to say, hey, you know what? Maybe today is not going to be that busy of a day uh, as indicated by the pre-market volume. And then when you get an open on the, vit, on the tick like this, like today. So today the tick opened at uh, 301 which is outside of my normal stay out for the day range, but it closed in the stay out of for the day range. So normally I want, if it opens between 250 and minus 250 and it stays there, it kind of tells me, hey, this is, might be a choppy day. So today it opened at 301 and then it closed for the first five minute candle um, at around minus 83 right and then the next candle pretty much stayed in that and then the next one also stayed in that range and just this is the range that i'm like okay i don't like this this is gonna be a sideways day and as you've seen here that's exactly what it did you know and then you have the vix going lower then goes higher then goes lower pretty much everything just matched today so this was just pr plenty of indication within the first 15 minutes which is the time that i'm looking at hey if i don't get a significant move within the first 15 minutes i'm probably gonna stay out uh, or, or wait if I'm around, you know, I'll wait for a, a perfect indication in the markets uh, that something's going to happen. But no, today it's it, it just pretty much this. It's just a bunch of fake 
a bunch of tick fades to the downside, the high side. You know what I mean? So it, it just keeps bouncing on this range and just moving sideways. So today, that's what I was looking at. That's pretty much why I stayed out for the most of the day. I didn't really put in anything uh, heavy, especially, you know, I had positions from yesterday. I closed out and that's pretty much it. Um, so that's pretty much what I was looking at today. And that's these are good indications. If you guys get used to looking at these in the morning every day, where does this open and where does it close? You know, it kind of gives you that indication. Hey, we, you know, this may be a choppy day. Again, nothing is set in stone. This can change at any time. But since today we did not hit any of the extremes at minus 1,000 or plus 1,000, as you can see here, it's a pretty choppy day. And the indication was there in the morning. And if you just go by this rule, you'll save yourself a lot of trouble and money because you didn't have to trade on a choppy day like today. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time.